Hi guys and welcome. In today's session, we are going to look at Jenkins installation on Windows 10 operating system. But before we begin, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and turn on the notification so you don't miss an update. Also, if you are interested in a certification program, check out the links in the description below. So, let's begin by first discussing today's topic. These are what is Jenkins, the system requirements for Jenkins tool, types of releases and which one should you use. Then, we will go into a demo where we install Jenkins from scratch and later we will create a basic build and get you familiar with the interface. So, let's start by asking what is Jenkins. In DevOps, continuous integration is important and this is achieved using Jenkins which is an open source automation tool made for continuous integration and continuous delivery purposes. It is easy to install, has loads of plugins and free to use. So, let's look at the system requirements for Jenkins. Let's start by looking at hardware requirements for Jenkins and the minimum and recommended configuration. You should have at least 256 MB of RAM and 1 GB of storage space. However, it is recommended to have more than 4 GB of RAM and over 50 GB of dry space. Next, the software dependencies. Jenkins needs to have Java installed on the target system. It must have Java 8 or 11 as all the other versions of Java are not supported by Jenkins. So you must have Java 8 or 11 installed. Next, we'll look at the installation types of Jenkins. If you go to the download page of Jenkins, you can see we have two options here. These are the stable and LTS release and the regular releases or weekly release. To simplify the difference, you can think of LTS as a more stable release. It will have fewer changes with less likelihood of bugs and patches. On the other hand, the advantages that comes with weekly releases is that developer gets to experience new features. This is good for those who wants to experiment. But for those who want stable options, LTS is the best bet. Now, we move on to the installation part. So let's install Jenkins on Windows 10. To do this, first, you need to go to the Oracle website and look for Java 8 or Java 11. We have Java 8 and 11 available here. So here, you can download your setup by choosing your operating system and then clicking here. After you do that, accept the agreement and then download the setup. In my case, I have already installed Java in this system. So, the next thing for you to do is download the Jenkins setup for Windows 10. I'll be using the LTS version here. And by clicking, you should automatically start downloading Jenkins. Now, I have the Jenkins setup already with me. So, I'll be using just that and let me show you how you need to install Jenkins. But before you do that, there is one thing that you should make sure of and that is to add the Java path to the environment variable name. Here you can see I have the JDK 11 and all I need to do is copy this location and paste it in my environment variable. So by clicking here, after going to path and edit, you can paste. As you can see, I already have the Java location here with me. But in case if I didn't have this, all I would have done is created a new entry and then pasted my JDK installation path here. And after clicking OK, I should be able to access Java from the command line. So if I type Java version, I should get an output. And as you can see, this is working properly. Now, we are ready to install Jenkins. So, I have my setup here. I'll double click it and I'll install. I'll use the basic settings and the default path locations. Jenkins usually runs from the 8080 port. So, you have to test this. After that, select your Java home directory. And as you can see, Jenkins has automatically detected that for us. And then install. Now click finish and then go to a web browser and type localhost colon 8080. 
Now, since this is the first time that Jenkins is being set up, it might take some time. So be patient and keep hitting refresh. Now, Jenkins is getting ready. So be patient and this should get started in like 5 minutes. Now comes the first step. The first step for us is to unlock Jenkins. And to do that, you need to go to this path and copy the password from this location. So what I'll do is I'll copy this and paste it here. And now I'll open this file and copy the password into Jenkins. Now we will be installing the suggested plugins because that is the easiest way to get started. So click here and Jenkins should start downloading plugins. So be patient here while we get things installed on this system. Now that our installation is complete, we can create our first admin user. Then save and continue. Then finish. Now restart. And now login. So I enter your password and username here and sign in. Now let's get started with the Jenkins dashboard. As you can see, we have the welcome page here. Here we can log in and log out. And these are some dashboard items. So here we can create a new project. We can view the build history. Some settings are here. And we see the build queue here. So for this, I'll be creating a simple project. So I'll create that by clicking on this and then I'll give it some name Project Jenkins. For this, I'll use the freestyle project. Now, for this project, I don't need anything too fancy, but we can start by providing some description to our project. So we'll write first project on Jenkins. Now next we go to this build and I select execute windows command and here I'll write some commands. So what will happen is that whenever we build something these commands will get executed and we will be able to see that. So next I save this project and then we go into our project. As you can see we have the description here and we can also build the project right now by clicking on this button. So after clicking this, we can see that our build is being scheduled here. Now we have this tick mark meaning that the build was successful. Now you can go into this and look at the console output. As you can see, the commands that are input which were Java version and dare were executed. And you can see that in the console output. You also have some other information such as you can view it as the text and you can delete the build. So I'll go ahead and delete this. And this was just a basic introduction into your Jenkins project. You can experiment around with this stuff, but you should have a basic understanding of the UI now. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you become a Jenkins master in no time. All right then, see you in the next one. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!